Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix and troubleshoot common mod issues in Baldur's Gate 3's patch 7 on console. Now, the mods just released on console and there were 69 nice mods that got released at the time of launch. They got reduced down to 68 because there was one that was actually causing a lot of issues for people. So, I guess the first thing that I'll touch on is if you have the mod that gives you the different loading screens. This mod actually had to be removed from console, so you may have noticed it if you've... Uh, you can see it's no longer available even on PC. It was a mod, I still have the mod actually installed in my mod load order, but it doesn't work properly. So what was happening was for people, it wasn't affecting everyone, but for some people they would load into the game and it was causing loading issues where they were stuck on a boot loop and that didn't work obviously. So to, the troubleshoot was obviously to remove that mod, but if you have save files that have that mod, it may be bringing them back from the dead. So that's another thing that you gotta watch for. Um, and it was also impacting multiplayer sessions as well so that is another thing i want to touch on this video because multiplayer has had some issues too on console that i just wanted to touch on because i've gotten a lot of comments that i've tried to help out with and we seem to have some issues fixed with this so um it all comes down to what you have installed so you can see here it's now sorted this used to be sorted by the order in which you downloaded them and you can move the mod load order around unfortunately now you can't actually change your load order which it doesn't matter for the game the mods that come from the in-game mod manager the load order actually is self-contained so it doesn't really matter too too much however you can see here i got upwards of it won't tell you the full number but i have like 200 mods installed and with that, that obviously causes some issues. It says all of them are number one here, kind of funny. But um, yeah, having a lot of mods does sometimes add to issues. So my biggest recommendation is to download mods in batches of like two or three and try to install in different ones. So like maybe a class mod, a dice mod, and like a die mod. Try those out, test them, see if it works. Good, those ones are safe, then you can add more in. Now, one thing to consider is sometimes mods will have interactions amongst each other. So for me, I really like to have a bunch of subclasses. However, if you look at my, I guess there's a bunch of barred subclasses here, it won't actually show all my barred subclasses unless I uninstall or unlock one of them and it'll fix the rest of them. So that is something that can happen when you have multiple trying to compete for the same spot in your subclasses or your classes. So that's one thing. If you find that you installed one mod and then hit another mod, you might have to remove that mod if you want to use one other. So they t typically won't occupy the same space but sometimes they do so it's something you definitely want to try out and troubleshoot now back to the multiplayer thing uh first and foremost you have to have the same mods installed as your partner in multiplayer so if you're resuming a, a campaign that you already had it may have some issues if you're starting to load in some different mods like even the cheaters ring or underwear rituals which were just added recently today and uh, yeah, you might have to start a new campaign if you want to use those mods. What's unfortunate is if you're playing with mods, you may have to uninstall all mods or un unenable them. So it's something that you want to coincide with your player, whoever you're playing mods with. Um, you may even fancy doing like a, a couch co-op play through a Baldur's Gate 3 because that just might move a little bit easier if you're able to do that. But uh, yeah, you definitely have to have the same mods installed and you want to troubleshoot that because if mods work in your single player game, they may not work as perfectly in a multiplayer setting the biggest one being the uh loading screens mod which was causing a lot of issues this is made by kates they do an incredible job of making these so um a lot of their mods do have both pc and, and console support however they sometimes do cause issues and i heard also some issues with the secret scrolls mod in multiplayer gameplay so Bitlarian Studios has done an incredible job with testing all of these out. However, they can't get every single issue. Um, obviously, that would cause take hours and hours and hours of testing. So I do know this mod does cause some issues in multiplayer gameplay. So it could be something that uh, you may want to look into if you're doing a multiplayer playthrough. Let me know in the comments if you've used this in multiplayer. But I've received many comments thus far saying this one has caused some issues. And it just got launched uh, today. So um, with that, there's a lot of console mods being added very rapidly so if we look here uh the date published we got some new ones that just got added to uh the mod manager today so like become a vampire which you can get at the very start of the game medusa's hair which has caused some issues because i have other hair mods that are blocking that uh, and things like a spellblade school i actually had someone say that this caused an issue with their multiplayer gameplay today so again when it comes to installing mods you might want to test them out one at a time just to make sure that everything is going correctly with them now, another thing that's very popular, uh, especially on console, is players that are using mods for things like uh, classes and subclasses. So a big one with that, or even also things like the hair extensions and character creation. So if you're to install this, put these on your character and then remove the mod, 
it can cause some issues. So be certain that you want to use these mods before going into playing with them. Another issue that's been popping up pretty frequently is you can see here I have a bunch of mods. It's all saying one, but there's about 200 of them here. Um, you, we even seen from the start of this video, see these check boxes? Uh, all of them are checked on now. So all of them are now enabled. When we were checking this previously, when I recorded this video, there was a bunch of them that weren't checked. So there are some issues here with this. Um, if you have a save file, so I go here and go to continue my save file, you can see all these mod issues that are popping up saying I had this one previous version, there's third party mods, etc. You can always, for the most part, you can just ignore this. Like I've ignored this every single time and it's always worked. However, there are some issues because if I go to load my game, I do have a save file that has mods in it. And uh, even if you uninstall them here, so if you go unsubscribe, remove the mods, and then have a save file with it, it's going to bring those mods back into your load order here. So that's one thing that's happened pretty frequently. I do know Larian has caused or has an update that has fixed this slightly. However, it's still having some issues for a lot of people, myself included. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're uninstalling mods, double check, delete the save file that has that mod, uh, and it should remove it from the game. So if you keep that save file, it'll keep necroing that mod back into the game. So that's why I say you should test these mods first. Make sure that you like them before you add them into your gameplay because it could end up being stuck there forever. Like I have this Celestial Warlock, which I've been trying to uninstall, and it keeps necroing itself back from the dead, which is fine. I just have another mod that's similar to this one that I wanted to use instead, but I make do with it. I have 200 of them here. And the new update just updated this so they all say one, which is pretty funny because previously, like when I checked this yesterday, it had numbers there. So there are a, quite a few issues. Um, you can see here I have multiple mods for the Bard subclasses. And when I go into the game, um, I can only view a few of these. It's happening the most with the Rogue, I found. So if you have multiple Rogue subclasses installed, uh, it's not a big problem right now on console, but eventually it will be once all those make their way over. Some of them may override each other. So you may have to remove one play with the other so just want to make a little note on that and for the most part mods work very well on console this is a much less slipperier messy mess than playing like skyrim or fallout mods i think this is one of the best modding experiences that i've ever had in game so i'm very impressed with it there's not as many mods on console as some people would want but they're testing them to make sure they work and that's an it's something that is expected from sony and microsoft so to have these mods with external assets and things like that, it has to be tested and approved by Larian. So they're doing an incredible job going through all these and making sure that they work perfectly for the game. And uh, yeah, they're doing a great job with that. So I just want to make a shout out to Larian because I've seen a lot of people hating on it. I disagree with that because there's a lot of time and effort that goes into testing all these things because there's many little things. They even released that um, loading screen mod, which worked for a majority of people, but also caused some issues for multiplayer players. Not everyone was affected, but it can affect like if you're playing like on the Xbox Series S or X or even on PlayStation. It just really depends. So be mindful with your mod downloading. Try things out. Test them at, in small batches. If you like what you see, keep it going. If you don't, remove it. Don't have that save file bringing it back from the dead. So I just want to touch on this briefly because I've gotten a lot of comments. And I'm trying to trying to answer these questions as much as possible, but I've been getting a lot of comments lately. So I just want to address this all in this video. So if you found this one helpful, please hit the subscribe button below. Really, really appreciate all the support, guys. Love you all. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you all in the next video.